Notice that by default, I didn't ch mod these, but look, here's public. Notice that root has all permission, read, write, execute, but the group and other only have read. We'll read and execute, but remember that for a directory in Unix or in POSIX permissions, if you don't give them execute and only read, they won't be able to browse or enter the directory. So read only is really the combination of read and execute or five, very common permission setting. Same thing for readxt4, I didn't say it's mod it, but notice that um, you know the permissions by the umask by what was removed are basically 755 because my umask is 0022 so the only one I really have to modify or change to match up with Samba on my config file is this one and I'm going to do sudo chmod and I'm going to give full writable access again the rule you should follow is you lock down everything on a server and you slowly loosen things up bit by bit until you get the bare minimum of services you want. It's more secure to do it that way. But since you know this is sort of a lab and we're learning to, we're just basically learning how to set up Samba, let's make it as easy on ourselves as possible. And we'll just take the opposite approach, the least secure. We'll start out with the, with the least amount of security and then we'll tighten it down as we go. Um, so if I do that, let me list the permissions. And now notice that Okay, you know, read, write, execute, read, write, execute here, and it matches up here in Samba. Okay, and I just want to, th that was for the pur purpose of example, but also we were looking at um, our FS tab file, so. Um, In previous tutorials, we were looking at FS tab, and let's let's open that. And remember how we had all of these. You know, this is a multi-boot system, so it has Windows 7, and it's also running a 64-bit version of uh, Ubuntu, uh, a Maverick Meerkat. And we chose to mount those directories here. We went inside media, and we made these directories: data one, two, three, and four. We got the UUID. Um, universally unique identifier and we mounted it with NTFS 2G so it would be writable and use the defaults. So all of those drives are mounted automatically every time you boot the system or if you were to type the command sudo space mount space dash a and they're all right here. So there's a 500 gig drive, a 300 gig drive, a 300 gig and 185 gig and they're all mounted there um, you know, on, on the server. So what I want to do is, is share out individual folders on these uh, NTFS drives. And so what I'm going to do is just go into media, where they are. And there's data 1, data 2, data 3, and data 4. And I'm going to first off look at data 1 and see what I want to share. And I'm going to share downloads and make it writable. So, I'll just call it all caps downloads. And downloads on Pegasus. And not really a very secure folder. Now, this. It's case sensitive, so actually I want to make that lowercase there. Doesn't matter what I call the share name, that can be different, but this has to be exactly the same. So lowercase Allen loads capital D, lowercase Allen loads capital D. I have to let me see if I can drag this over. I want to match that up there. Okay, and I'm going to choose to enable write access, so I'm going to leave all of these the same. Now the path is going to be different. If I print my working directory. You go into downloads here. If I print the working directory, notice the path. Media, data1, and these folders are on my local file system, but once the NTFS partition is mounted, this is actually on the NTFS partition, but the whole path, the absolute path, via print working directory is going to be that. And an easy way to do that if you just copy and paste 
you'll be sure to have uh, you know the complete path but that's very important you want to match that up exactly um, and let's go let's go here that's one NTFS and I'm going to recurse up two directories and let's go to data 2 and see what's there that'll be right only now let's let's pick something read only um, so let me go to data 3 and let's see what's over here uh, conspiracy theories and all kinds of stuff um, and let's see what's here like mobile hmm. I'm going to go to data one And let's see, I'm going to share out this directory here, Movies. So where I've taken all the recordings of my DVR and put them in that folder, cartoons for my kids and old movies and stuff. So it'd be nice to make that available on the network for anybody in the family who wants it. Um, I'm going to, again, I want to keep or copy pretty much the same syntax. Oh, and I didn't change the... Uh, Just add a comment tag. Downloads on NTFS partition on Pegasus. There. Okay. Um, so again, if I were to go into that folder, I need to match the case exactly. So if I were to get the path and print the working directory, I could just copy and paste it. Um, but you know, it's very important that I match that path exactly. And Movies on Pegasus, and I'm just going to call this. I don't know why I'm going for the Commodore 64 Amiga syntax, all caps there. Movies on Pegasus, and again, notice my path has to match exactly what the path is when I do a print working directory, or it's not going to be able to find it. Now, I have stuff that's taken me years to collect off the DVR and, you know, Twilight Zone marathons and Forbidden Planet and The Day the Earth Stood Still and all. So I want to make sure that that is read only. I don't want people inadvertently, you know, my children or somebody else inadvertently deleting, you know, files that I cannot replace. And so again, I want to lock that down. And so I'm going to say read only yes. And I'm going to give it a mask. That'll just kind of make that a read only. And then the last one, ju just to show you. Um, an authenticated folder. Um, we'll keep that as our NTFS example. Um, and I'll put on NTFS partition on Pegasus Movies downloads. Okay. Just to do one more, we're going to do one called Secrets. And this will show you what will happen if I set, um, if I set, you know, guests to okay to no. And secrets and this will be an authenticated folder on Pegasus. It'll require a password to log in. I'm just going to call it secrets at the root level, and I'm not going to allow write access, but also I'm not going to allow guests. Alright, so you will have to enter a password and user account to get in here. Okay. So I'm going to save my configuration file. And I've made all my directories. Oh, let's not forget secret. Easy to make a mistake. You, you, know, you have to kind of, it's, it's very step by step. But remember, I created it here, but I, I still have to create the directory, don't I? So sudo mkdir and and let me match the path exactly. Let me see at the root level, secrets, all caps, all caps. And it's read only, so I can use the default UMask. Remember um, 0022, the same as if I chmodded 755. 